All right, Trevor, welcome back to our show. Trevor, tell us about SBI Protect. I've heard so many good things about it. Educate us. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the more dynamic raw materials in all of integrative and functional medicine. Um, it, it is a extremely popular and high mover that's discussed at a lot of large conferences for doctors, and it's also utilized a lot in um, the medical setting for patients that's, that deal with leaky gut and immune challenges. And so firstly, let's start with what does SBI stand for? That's serum-derived bovine immunoglobulin, all right? So that all that means is blood-derived from cows or pigs and uh, immunoglobulin being an antibody, right? So this is a, a little bit of a broad topic, but let's start with this. When a baby is born and a baby nurses from a mother, the baby receives colostrum, right? And the mother produces colostrum to pass immunity and growth factors to the baby, right? And so a baby in that moment begins to create a immune system that lines the intestinal tract that's primarily IgG. IgG is an antibody uh, and it, it is 80% of our, hu our human antibodies are IgG, right? So you start to get, develop the architecture in the intestines for a baby and that's how a mother can pass immunity on. So um, you fast forward, you know, hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of years to um, the 1980s and a company called Intera Health starts using immunoglobulins and what they're doing is extracting it from animals, from their blood, not from the dairy canal where colostrum is produced. And they test it on other animals. And so maybe there's sick animals or animals that deal with E. coli or food pathogens and, and illnesses and spoiling food. And, um, and then you deal with coronavirus that was affecting the agriculture population. And you notice the cows and the pigs and the animals that chickens, they, they grew. They grew significantly bigger and they were healthier and they had dealt with um, less disease. And so then they moved on from that raw material to humans. And so they started looking at, okay, what's the mechanism? What does an antibody do? And so what happens is an antibody is a smart immune cell. It's created by our adaptive immune system. It's created by our B cells. And it, just like with any virus, coronavirus, once you have passed that strain through your body, your body creates an antibody to it. So if it recognizes that strain again, it attaches to it, creates an immune complex and gets rid of it, right? Unless you see a mutation. But let's get back to what an antibody is. So when you're consuming IgG antibodies in a powder or capsule form, what you're doing is you're taking the herd immunity and the antibodies of 3,000 cattle managed by Intera Health, and when they basically extract the hyper extract through a negative feedback or a closed feedback loop system, the IgG, they're able to deliver it to us in a capsule, and then you consume it into your intestines. And so what happens is when the capsule opens, the antibodies are released, they look around, and they say, what do we recognize? And so what they recognize is almost all of the common conditions that every single integrative and functional clinician is treating. They're treating S SIBO, candida, fungal overgrowth, LPS, which is a toxin produced by bacterial overgrowth, all of these things. And so it goes inside the intestinal lumen, it recognizes a pathogenic bacteria or a toxin and it binds to it. And so when you have leaky gut, you have things that are destroying your gut lumen and getting into your bloodstream. And what SBI or serum drive bovine immunoglobulins do is they bind to pathogens before they can get through the leaky gut and they go out through your stool. So essentially what you're using is a biological binder that binds the pathogens and make sure that they end up in the toilet and not in your bloodstream. And this is a very exciting topic because last year, the Institute of Functional Medicine put on a conference and Dr. Jeffrey Bland and Dr. Vizjani, uh, one of our immune experts on stage, talked about LPS as the number one destroyer of our health. LPS is lipopolysaccharide. This is a toxin produced by bacteria and bacteria that bacteria aren't just dangerous alone. They do something. Well, they produce LPS and many other toxins. And LPS is what destroys your DNA in your gut and your intestines and destroys your entire infrastructure of your intestines. So there's only one thing that binds to LPS that has been proven to bind to LPS and many other things, which is immunoglobulins, SBI. And that is a number one raw material, immunolin. It's not just any immunoglobulin. It's not like, hey, you know, I use colostrum. No, it's the exact raw material, immunolin on the nutrition label. So you're leveraging 57 
clinical trials that have been done on IBS and IBD for removing pathogens that cause intestinal challenges and, and in turn, immune challenges because 70, 80% of our immune cells are lining that intestinal tissue. Um, so it's a robust topic, but it is used as a clear the slate, a remover of many different pathogens and toxins before we start restoring um, healthy gut immune function. That was a lot of scientific stuff. I love it, Trevor. <laughs> um, and basically, you know, just to sum it up is, you know, our gut is a defense system for to prevent many kind of diseases. And if we don't have a healthy gut, we're not going to have a healthy body, period. And SPI Protect can help keep our gut healthy. Amen. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much, Trevor, for that education. Thank you, Sean.